the nation has a position and say that this is what our law says we frown on this even dogs dogs even dogs it's a gay gay uh, preachers and gay uh, marriage blessers I'm telling you you are on your way to eternal damnation except you repent you are going to hell the preacher was telling me you know he preached in South Africa and he preached against gayism and when the church closed there was a gang to beat him up I said I will die for that cause I will die for that cause I see again one more day to one more. will be younger than you. And <laughs> I want more and it's a timer and can vice president of USA of Bayern not just say or better and I just want you to say human rights will be a need to send your pay it will be per quadru be pay and car any idea to be a need your pay now can go for the runner and she said came up in your back snippy I can say and you're just so many you better to me so when to me and can be visa and no I'm a gun of the runner I can send a day if I want to and they so for me I would die a la basta International Ministry and a prophet Kofi Odru and also a day and some a day to John on a day a fire and casa yeah that's what to be a day a man or more and a or to him say am I would draw more idea to me send me oh or more bottom and your kind is in the pay say or by boon a day and I'll bet you to so a bar and why in your uncle bar say be a bar back man who quiet man your uncle bad in his hour one home and that's a bear ma but what could be too hard no not say be your uncle bear maybe boo to a boom and then I'm just a new way at the time and then it's a new day for a year easy I know they pay you back on your property you buy you better also we talk about LBGT very clear I want the president of Ghana and the government of Ghana to know that nothing can be imposed on this nation. Especially when gatekeepers like the church exist. We should have a position. Even the speaker of parliament has a position. Why can't the leader of the nation has a position? And say that this is what our law says. We frown on this. Even dogs, dogs, who need to remove. Even dogs, I'm a new trumo. I'm on some edge. If you have a trumo for me, you are. There are some of you kind of. They may not agree with it, but I'm not talking about agreement. Whether you believe it or not, God will judge homosexuals. Leviticus chapter eighteen twenty-two, and then First Corinthians chapter nine, and verse number baby and my meeting. Leviticus eighteen twenty-two. The Bible said, "Thou shalt not lie with mankind." As with womankind, it is an abomination. Put it in a different version. This version says, no man is to have sexual relations with another man. God hates that. Another version says, don't have sex with a man as one does with a woman. This is abhorrent. Abhorrent. Tiebrofono. Another version, the Bible says, do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. That is detestable. God detests it. Another version says, do not practice homosexuality. Now we put that clearly in the Bible. Don't practice homosexuality. Having sex with another man as with a woman, it is, de it is a the Bible said, Na wonne be ma en na obana e ye chiwa diye. Ha diye ye chiwa diye. This nation will come and come. Speak to this same God. God, bless our homeland Ghana. You want God to bless your homeland Ghana? Mungos you need to. I don't care any Catholic priest who blesses gay marriages. You're on your way to hell. 
I do not care how Anglican preachers who live in England and all those places who are gays and gay, gay uh, preachers and gay uh, marriage blessers. I'm telling you, you are on your way to eternal damnation. Except you repent, you are going to hell. I told you the mind of God. The preacher was telling me, you know, he preached in South Africa and he preached against gayism. And when the church closed, there was a gang to beat him up. I said, I will die for that cause. I will die for that cause. I see again what I'm to do. I don't care what America thinks. I don't care what UK thinks. You know, Uganda is already blowing the horns that you people have brought a lot of money to Uganda just like you are trying to push on Ghana to accept LBGT. But I'm, I'm standing here and I'm telling you, the world is mad. Though. The nations, they are mad. Jeremiah chapter number 51 and verse number 7 tells me that America, UK, Germany, England, Ghana is mad. My bottom. Put it in my language. Let me read it so that they will not say, See, I did you be at Babel. I mean, some sick of crew, my mamma and a man as I see in the anonym Nensani be a bro. I'm an amano and nominin Sani be empty. The Bible said, I'm an amano a bottom. A bottom. Warm up. I didn't want to come, Babro. Punu Namranti shall be then we must make. I'm an amano bottom. I be o bo apple. Plural, amanamayeno wamabu pota. Anya damwa. Inunu ni enti ya ubi pesu di trum wa du trum. But why do you want to impose that on me? Se anya damwa. Se anya. Fia ye. Muti ye wean kenyo ni. Se anya se wabota mwa. Ata ena wopa wo damna. Wopa su wo di damna besa. Nene. Why? Ata ena apa se amene wopa damna. And sadly, sadly, we have a very, 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 very muted, paralyzed church. We can't speak. Damp dogs. Toothless booze. In the mingas. And you show me. And I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Asafono ya furu di enim ajimi yi maku 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 suru nyame ya furu ni di enim ade ya ye chie ye ni chiri kura ne se ya fre asomesi ya president ya fre asomesi benten ya betna tena so we have a nice coffee tea ye wie aminya ya nanka ye mberi fui omoni abanya adam Omani opposition so nya adamfo. Dutche musa diye. Mokure na diye. Kanokure. Minya ya. Serious. And say penny movie invite him. And I'm say catch him penny movie. And say me ba minti min kasa diyo. Me ma. Me ba minti min kasa diyo. Me ma. Because me be be. Wo be che chile hundred thousand dollars. A shame blue pumu ama me. I feed him bring the camera and I'm going to hundred thousand. Yeah. When the moment I say bring the camera, I will remember your hundred thousand envelope. I can't speak. Mema. Fosika. Now we need to agree on saying a bit. Say an abeshe. A dear bent in attention in your juma. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. That is true worship. They worshiped him truly. It's so interesting to me, my darling, that now many people, you know, don't even see their need for worship. During worship. Where is the worship of those days that tears flow? People prostrate before the throne of God. Many of my colleagues, many, many of my colleagues will never dance during praises because they are so important. They are so important. Many of my colleagues will not kneel down. 
before God because they have become very, very important. Very interesting. Where is true worship? Dishonor to the Holy Spirit has now grown into many forms. Al Jazeera this past week made a documentary and they have titled the documentary Gold Mafia Part 1. But what caught my attention as a Jesus preacher and a prophet of the end time was that they said a young man by the name Alistair, they brought his face, transposed gold from Ghana, 40 million dollars a month. 40, may I curse him to you? 40, I'm talking about Al Jazeera. It's on their website. Go and check it. And uh, 40 million dollars goes out of Ghana every month. I calculated it by a year. And that is almost half a, half a billion. That in three years. I don't think we need a loan from IMF. Serious! So Ghana, this girl I'm saying, yeah, your person is stop with intimate stop with. Sana, it's a cartel. Because just upon, I was shocked that the big boys of this same cartel, which runs from Ghana, Congo, 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 Brazzaville, Congo as DR Congo, and is connected to Zimbabwe, connected to Tanzania, South Africa, connected to Dubai. That is where they sell the gold. And uh, it does not, according to the documentary, it is not just gold trade. It's also money laundering. Yeah. And what, what, what kicked me was that top of the cartel are pastors. Yes. Yes. Pastors. Pastors with diplomatic passports, government immunities, and they are using that office of trust for such illicit, dirty, bloody money. And it is going on from my country. We are Baba Bijina Barbara Beckham. Because the voice is streamlining and praying and aligning the way of the Lord and making his pastry. How can you take the name of the Lord in vain like that? How can you take the work of God and the pulpit of God? As a matter of fact, one of the big pastors in South Africa is an, an illegal Ill money laundrier. One of your prophets in Zimbabwe big one is a gold dealer and money laundrier and church is just a cover up. Just like church is a cover up for so many of you. Church is a cover up. Sin is what we have covered our eyes and faces and our heads with the Bible, and we have this morning. I call you to repentance. This morning, me, if you attend this church and you go to hell, I will not be shocked, it will not be a shock to me. Everything has been told you. If you say it's a hospital, you have been in a hospital for at least five years. Why not go to that hospital five years? Tell me. Why not that hospital five years? Mumu, why not that hospital for ten years? Doctor Fuamua, how many patients have you admitted for twenty years? And they were on admission. Admission only. Pastors! I feel, I'm watching the documentary. And I could feel good. And I'm asking, oh, so people can be this wicked. We can pray liberally. And wickedness is under our sleeves like that. We see God's people. As I'm standing here, and I said, I serve Jesus. If I want to engage myself in any wickedness, at least I should consider elderly people who like these mothers of Zion who sit here. I should consider and respect at least their dignity. 
that as, he, as their pastor, before I will go into my madness, at least respect them. Please, before I get myself into some madness. Because most of us sitting here, we are worse than Judas Iscariot. When we don't care what you think, your opinion does not matter when God is speaking. His word is his word. I'm telling the world. Why is it that truth cannot be told? Yeah, Jesus said the other day, you are like white sepulchers which are decorated from the outside, but inside are dead men's bones and the stench. Yeah. He is telling us very clear. He says, say this to the people of Zion. Yeah. Joel chapter number two, verse number one. He said, blow the, blow the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord is at hand. Go to verse 13. Verse 13 of this particular, you know, Joel chapter two. Let's start from verse 12. Verse 12 to verse number 13. Verse number 12, he said, therefore also now say of the Lord, and ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and weeping and mourning. This is what we've been doing for the past seven days. Weeping, fasting. And then look at verse number 13. And he said this, he said, and rend your hearts. Rend your hearts, not your garments. And turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great in kindness, and uh, repented him of the evil. The two hands are on your heart before we stand. Give us the grace that your spirit through your word will circumcise our hearts and not our garments. In the precious name of Jesus the Christ. Stand to your feet. Let us pray. ECG. Let me say something. To bring the camera. If you like. Take your exercise to the churches. You will be shocked at what you will see. If you like. Take the same exercise to all the mosques. In Ghana. You will be shocked at what you will see. I am telling you truth. Some of the industries. May sit, take it to churches and mosques. You will be shocked. Sure. Who we are? Take it to Abu Zumbi. Deaths of people are corrupt. We've been, if this exercise was long before, I think that even ECG can be able to give government the loan they are looking for. There are big companies that are owing. Not only ECG, GRA, Ghana Revenue Authority. If you are looking for a place where there are wicked deals, the whole Ghana, it's not Temaport, it's not airport, it's Ghana Revenue Authority. That is where evil resides. If you are looking for the headquarters of evil, go to Ghana Revenue Authority. Rather, the, the, the one that will be the enemy of the state, it will be this voice that is rather speaking. And not the perpetuators. Do we sound like cowards? Your two hands are on your heart. Let us pray. That Christ will be formed in us. As your word says, my little children, which I travail in breath, that Christ, Jesus Christ, will be formed in your hearts. Not just coming to church. What do you alabasta? alabasta, alabasta. I'm telling you. Many, many, many people, Mama Comfort, I'm telling you, standing here. Eden will be to me, but you will be Kunua Alabasta. Somebody snatch somebody's husband here at Alabasta. The catchers will be working my phone. Every time for a prophet, any Aqua Cotino, Abano, Utumuse, Nenia Briancasa, 
and your come back over here free by boom so at yes here or my work will say I didn't know and yet no no so I train I drink they have a look like they are doing today and yeah a so be a train I drink they don't do a board not drink as a and our day actually a pen for now moon person by my point I might just say I do we a bit me say a very just one saying him to my mind I feel it a bit more so and I feel more Omo e di se juma no sebi omo mu ye gay and a lesbian wa ka kan adwen e dey achre omo onso ye ga nani o ye man ba o betumi achre wa adwe e wo comment section wono me da se bebe so hwe ye gana tv one e so e ne ye mawe fi so be like video no o be share o comment no e ya fabra me da se bebe so hwe